Jan, you are the sunshine in my life. And mom was right, don't ever let go of your sunshine. You wonder why I don't like to call you my girlfriend? Because I want to call you my wife. Oh, better than any drama on TV right there. Yes. It's the moment of the Emmys. Director Glenn Weiss, after winning the Emmy for Outstanding Directing of the Oscars, used that precious time on stage to propose to his girlfriend, Jan. It's been a whirlwind three days for the couple. It continues right here, right now. Welcome. Guys, congratulations. congratulations. Cheers thank to you. you. Ah. And uh, Colin and Michael, I hope they especially Boom. thanked you, right? <laughs> because you saved the Emmys. You did. <laughs> Uh, talk about that moment, Glenn. I mean, you had long been planning this proposal. You talked to your dad. You said a couple, two weeks before, got the ring. Yeah, no, it, it actually wasn't a long time planning at all. Yeah. And, and um, I did speak to my dad uh, three days before, uh, actually. It was, oh. a, it was a rough couple of weeks. My mom passed yeah. two weeks ago. And there was a lot of uh, emotion mm -hmm. and, and things, but I, a lot of clarity about what's important in life, too. And... Uh, you know, you come to the Emmys as a nominee, you don't know if you're going to win. And it was, you know, if, if I didn't, if my name wasn't called, it would have happened at some other date. It didn't have to happen on that date, but it was a moment, and I, we went I there. I know, but Glenn, when they called your name, was there ever a moment that you maybe chickened out just because it was a big <laughs> right. stage? Like, you had the ring, you'd thought about it, then they called your name. You're like, okay, now it's on, or was it just full throttle? You know, it, number one, it was full throttle, but number yeah. two, there were things that I really wanted to say about my mom and stuff, and I know on any show like that, since I've directed a bunch of them, there's mm -hmm. time constraints, and, you know, as, as we tell other uh, uh, nominees on other shows, you have like a minute 30 from when your name's called. That's literally what we tell people on, on other shows. So I really filtered and edited what I wanted to say, and, you know, when, when I literally said to her, I want you to be my wife, I know I was just at my right amount of time. And it was great. <laughs> I did not expect that reaction. And yeah. then everyone stood and then they pushed her up. He's like, you're eating up my time. It became a thing <laughs> yes. unto itself. And then like the, the, the prompt in the back that said, wrap it up, they took it down. So I'm like, okay, I guess Thank everybody goodness. is into yeah. this moment. Let's continue. I love but... his director brain. He's like, okay, I'm 30 <laughs> seconds in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm I love editing the... as I go. I loved your reaction, Jan, because it was like full on Taylor Swift. You were like, oh my God. <laughs> 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 talking about me? Oh my God! I love you too. When did you know it was a proposal, though? You know. Do you know that it's a proposal? <laughs> <laughs> I think I figured it out now. Yes. Um, you know, we've been to many award shows, and that's what he does for a living. And luckily, he's been nominated and won many other awards. So it was kind of business as usual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, he acknowledged the kids and the sh you know the Oscars and Jimmy Kimmel, and and I thought, okay, this is all right. And then I, I knowing him the way I do, I knew he would say something about his mom. Yeah. So I thought, oh, that's great. And then he sort of segued into his mom's relationship with me, and I thought, oh, that's a nice way to you know incorporate me. That's nice. And I thought. We were done, right. and, and then he, he so kind of, yeah. <laughs> and then he took like a beat, and I remember sort of going, "Okay, now I can relax." So I kind of, you know, leaned back because I'd been leaning in, and then all of a sudden he went into the line about the girlfriend wife thing, and I just, I kind of blacked out. I really just, <laughs> and the next thing Taylor I knew, people were saying, Swift. you know, move up to the stage, and Mandy Patinkin, and and uh, Brandon Victor Dixon, and were pushing me up, and I thought, "Oh my God, this is amazing." At one point, I thought you weren't gonna go because you were like, "I don't <laughs> do I go up there now?" To get your butt up on that You're stage. You're in the sunshine. Get on the stage. <laughs> Illuminate us. I was in shock. We're both used to, you know, we're used to being behind the scenes, so this yeah. is a whole different, you know, ball game for How us. How did here. you two meet? Because I know you're both, you're in the Broadway community. You do so much for, for theater in New York and, and everywhere. And, and so Jan's how, what's a big the story? deal. Everybody needs yes. to know. Uh, big Tonys. Bigger yes. deal than me. No, and you've directed the Tonys. Yeah. Is this something, did it come, did love blossom that way? So, well, we worked together first. Yeah. We met um, doing Tony Awards, and then um, I actually worked on Broadway for about 17 years, um, and then I pivoted about two years ago, and I now work for Charity Buzz and Prizio, where we help celebrities and uh, charities raise money for cause. And we've actually done some things with Access Hollywood, oh, so I'm really excited to be here for that reason. <laughs> yeah. Your family. Yeah. Did Hugh Jackman reach out to y'all? Mm. Yes, actually. <laughs> what did he say? He, uh, uh, you... He, he uh, I can't re remember the exact words, but basically was very excited. It was a great moment. Love you, mate. You know, all of that, you know. He always, oh, calls, him, he always calls him mate. Love mate. a mate. <laughs> yeah. I, love I love you, mate. Yeah. Well, wait, we just got to play a little before we go off. Our executive producer, you went to the same college with him. We did. Your first call at Maryland when you walked off the stage. Roll a little of this. And by the way, I apologize already yeah, I for the three of us. <laughs> yes. I looked in, and you're, you're the one who's calling. We need you on the show tomorrow morning. <laughs> you and your fiance.
They need, he's, he's shaking too. They need it's us on the show tomorrow game. morning. A uh, duh. <laughs> Is that Rob? Yeah. <laughs> I need you here, and you're going to lead off the show tomorrow. We'll send a car for you, we'll feed you breakfast, we'll get you a bottle of champagne. Whatever you want, we'll take care of. What time? Well, we go on the air at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8. I'll call you later. <laughs> no, no, I need to book you. <laughs> I'll call you later. Wait, I'm sorry you didn't get the breakfast, yes. but we got the bubbly. Yes. Right. I'm just so excited. First, first of all, Rob looks so Hollywood in that oh, shot. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's like, is my camera on? Exactly. Right. He went and got tanned, especially I'm, for you. I'm casually in my office right now with a camera right there talking to you. He said he all used to Rob. swing from the chandeliers at the VU. In at the VU, oh my God, yes. <laughs> that is so funny. Do you have a wedding date set? Or are you all. We've planning? not gotten there yeah. yet, only yeah. because we got That's off stage and people like Rob are calling me, and suddenly we've, we've had no time to even sit and talk since. Maybe then. Oscars, right? Little. I think more low key. Yeah, yeah. a little more low key. Um, did, you, did your mom know that you were going to maybe do it on stage before she passed? Did she know that this could be the love story, how it ended? No, my mom, um, she, she, it was about a three year battle, and um, mm -hmm. probably, uh, you know. We, we never got to a point of discussing that. Uh, mom's, my, my favorite memory here and what brought this all together, m mom's favorite quote always to me was, she was my friend first. And, and yeah. you know, that's just so meaningful to me. And I'm not sure if it makes me really strange or something. <laughs> you know, no. I don't know what it says about me. There's it's a Freud thing somewhere, but. Mother's approval is ultimately, yeah. that's the, the, the well, seal Well, I, I know of that approval. was there for yeah. sure. Yeah, I love the thing that you said on the stage when you were looking in her eyes, I can I, I know our parents, your parents and, and your mom are looking down on this yeah. moment with smiles in their on their faces. I mean, that's yeah. amazing. It yeah. is amazing. And and as far as I'm concerned, they were there at that moment. Yeah. And yeah. you know whether they're physically here or not, they were there, and it was a big, precious. They're time. always they're always with us. Mm -hmm. Thanks oh, to you both, so love is trending, and I think you know. You know that's the bar think, high for these award shows. I think shows. that's yes. the really important thing. Is you know this story is obviously very personal, but it's become kind of public, and yeah. I think that um, I think we should have a hashtag, let love trend or something. I love like that. that. So, um, let's do we'll start that. here. Let's do it. Let's, let's start, start right here. Yeah. The other let hashtag trend. that was trending is your hair, Glenn. Everybody yes. wants to know, are we keeping the hair long? And did your mom love this? Yes. And a lot of questions. Some shampoo Jan commercials coming. Are we keeping the hair long? Yeah. <laughs> Jan's like, get a hair ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you, you don't ask me about my appearance now, ask her. Because <laughs> As a wife. We've crossed that line. As a wife. <laughs> Guys, hey, cheers to you. Thank you. Thanks for spreading Thank the love. Thank you. Beautiful love story. Thank you. Let love trend. Let love trend. Let's all oh, spread it, Oh, I love that. All right, love down it. the hatch, everybody. Ooh.